Alright, uh, <coughs> hey guys, uh, what's up? Uh, Dead Space 1 3 today, uh, I'm not gonna be, I just figured I'd do a commentary, um, let's see, just, just gonna, um, check my, my dad's, uh, tablet to, to see something. Hmm. Let's see, maybe check out my channel. I don't know what's on my channel. Let's see, no. <gasps> what? 50 subscribers oh my god we made it guys we made it to 50 subscribers which i know isn't a big milestone for some youtubers but for me it is and uh i just figured i'd like to celebrate by doing something i've never done before i wanted to do this since i had like 20 subscribers but i kept forgetting and i didn't have a mic back at 20 subscribers i don't think i had a mic um and i've just kept forgetting to do one of these because my story isn't that, it, it, my, my story, my life isn't that interesting, um, <laughs> so to speak, um, but yeah, I figured I'd do a story time today, as a 50 subscriber special, it's not gonna be known as story time, but it's gonna be the first of hopefully many, because I wanna do a lot of them, you know, I wanna, I don't wanna be like Luna, I mean, not that Luna's bad, I love his YouTube channel, but I just don't wanna be, I, I just don't wanna turn into a channel like that. Cause you know it's not bad, but it's not the kind of. Ch I'm a gaming channel. He's a, he's a like talkative type person in his videos and stuff. And basically, you know, I just wanted to do one of these for a while now. I'm finally doing one of them. But anyway, this this story is about a time uh, me and Melvin and basically the entire crew you guys know as that uh, I play with online because I know them in real life. Almost all of them. I play with, uh, even, even Christian, because, um, I just recently started recording videos with Christian, as well as Melvin, because he's mostly just Melvin's friend, I just kind of know him a little bit, but he's funny, so, anyway, basically, me, uh, Melvin, and Jason, I don't think you guys know Jason, because he's an Xbox gamer, he doesn't have a PS4, but he's getting it soon, or something like that, anyway, the point is, uh, me and Melvin and Jason, which, uh, Jason is a, a good friend of mine, but, you know, you guys have never seen him in a video, but, anyway, the point is, we were, um, in social studies class, and we were making jokes, and then the teacher came up, and whenever the teacher comes up, we just, like, stop talking completely, because we don't want the teacher to interact with us, just because, like, the teacher in social studies class is kind of annoying, so we just don't like talking, so, basically, um, usually we never talk. And, uh, nobody said anything when the teacher, the teachers came over, like, okay, guys, do your work, basically, just, like, a do your work reminder type shit. So then, uh, the, the teacher leaves, and then, uh, Melvin's, uh, I don't know what he said. He said something like, uh, uh, he, uh, yeah, the teacher said, take your book out. So, Melvin said something, I don't know what it was. And then, uh, after she left, and then I took my book out, and it was, like, there was, th not a hole, it was, like, partially torn a little bit the front cover was a bit ripped a little bit and then the teacher came over and she's like uh do your work again basically she said it again because we kept talking after that so Melvin and Jason started doing his work but I didn't and I was just kind of fiddling with it with the uh the notebook because the cover was ripped a little bit so I was like what do I do guys and they're just like well uh I'd try to fix it get some tape or something I think Jason was the one that suggested tape and I was like, well, there is no tape. And he's like, ask the teacher. And uh, I don't think I did ask the teacher. I don't know why, but I just, I just, I don't like talking to people unless I know them like, like friends or something. But anyway, um, I was trying to figure out what to do with my book. And then basically after they started doing work, after the teacher left, you know, as I said, we started talking again. And then, um, you know, we're like the kind of people that, when we start talking, the second the teacher's there, we just shut the fuck up, because we, we, like, it's not me, but my friends don't want to get in trouble. I'm the kind of person that doesn't really care, which I probably don't strike a lot of people as, because I don't seem like that kind of person, but I, don't, I, I am that kind of person. I don't care what the teachers think of me, I don't care what anyone thinks of me. I'm just like that, but... Uh, someone was like talking back to the teachers and said even though I wouldn't strike people as someone like that Like people probably would not think of me as someone that would do something like that But I do and um, the teacher came back after that And every time she did we'd basically shut up 
But there's this one time, um, uh, a little after, near the end of the period, and uh, basically what happened was we started telling jokes again, and um, the teacher came over, but we were too focused on our funny jokes and stuff. And the teacher came over, and she was like, uh, are you guys going to start doing your work again? And, you know, obviously I didn't care, but instead of backsassing, I was like, well, you know, you see my book, I'm trying to fix my book. And she's like, okay, well, it doesn't mean you have to talk to do it or something like that. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, see, this book's broken. You got any tape? And she's like, no, no, I don't think I have any tape. Um, because we, there's like two teachers. We have the teacher and like the sub teacher, which is the girl. And then that's what she said. And then what I said was, um, okay, well, I got to fix my book. And then when she left, uh, Melvin was like, what are you going to do to fix your book? And I'm like, well, uh, I don't exactly know. And then I was trying to fiddle with it. And then basically what I did was I picked it up. Um, but, and then like basically I accidentally picked it up by the cover. And since it was already torn, what happened was it was like, like what happened was I was trying to fix it earlier and I accidentally tore it like a bit more and then what happened is I picked it up by the cover by the, the side that wasn't attached to the rest of the book and then it ripped the thing ripped off in half and he and then the teacher came over because just because she heard us talking and we were like oh, oh we we're all like oh shit what the fuck and then the teacher comes over and she's like what are you doing and then I'm like well, and she's like, what? And I'm like, I'm just fixing my book here. And then me and, and Melvin and Jason just started cracking up, like, so much. Because, like, I said I was fixing my book as I tore my book in half. And it was just like, like, it might not sound as funny as it was, but it was just, like, probably one of the funniest experiences I've had. And most funny experiences I have are in school because I'm I don't talk to many people outside of school. I'm not an outsider, I'm an insider, so but yeah, she came over and she asked me what I was doing. I was like, you know what? And she's like, What? I'm like, I am fixing my book here. And we all just started cracking up because that was funny as fuck. I don't know why. I to be honest, even even now, I don't know why the fuck we started cracking up, but it was just so hilarious like that. I mean, thinking about it now, it's still funny, but it's just not as funny as it was back then. It was just timed so perfectly. Just as my book rips, I look at the teacher and I'm just like, I'm fixing my book here. And just as I say that, the book rips in half. But I just thought I'd share that story with you. I thought it was kind of cool, and to be honest, um, it was funny, and we had a good time. And um, one of the funnier... <laughs> Um, to you guys, probably not to me, and thinking back on it, it's funny, but, um, one of the funniest parts as well was that, since, this was at the beginning of 7th grade, by the way, I mean 8th grade, not 7th grade, but, uh, yeah, so, I'm in 8th grade right now, and that was at the beginning of 8th grade, and, um, when I got home, I actually got a call from the, um, what's it called, social studies teacher, the main guy, uh, and it was the part that I was ripping my book up in class, and I was just, Sick of my mom told me, she's like, why did you rip your book? And I just shook my head. I was like, you know what, mom? I don't know. And then I just walked out of the room, went back, uh, went into my dad's room and just started playing games again. And I can't believe that they actually called me for that. How do you call someone's house because they ripped their book by accident? And they probably thought it was on purpose because how perfectly it was timed. But it was actually on, on ex it was actually accidental. It wasn't even on purpose. So I guess they called because they were like, you know, this kid's not doing work. All he's doing is ripping his book up. And then my mom was like, what the fuck? And I was just like, hey, hey, this is not on purpose, so I'm, I'm, I'm done here. But, uh, yeah, that's basically it to the story. Came back tomorrow, and for the next, like, week or something, we just kept laughing and thinking about that. I think even to this day, if I said, I'm fixing my book and then make a ripping sound... I know both of them would automatically know what I was talking about because it's just, it's one of those things that if you plan it so perfectly and if you try to do it again, you can't do it again, like a voice or something, if you try to do a cool voice and then, you know, you try to do it again and like the first time you did it was amazing, it's not going to work again, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just one of those once in a lifetime things and uh, probably never going to do anything like that similar again, but... Anyway, hope you guys uh, 
like that story and thanks for bringing me to 50 subscribers it's awesome and uh, if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys next time but yeah you know thanks for 50 subscribers man we actually hit um 40 to 48 um in like a week or two which is just amazing i'm uh, actually growing pretty fast now but uh yeah, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, if you guys want more story times, make sure to put a hashtag story time in the comments down below, and I'll make sure to do another one, but without, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, without further ado, I guess I'm ending the video here, but uh, yeah, bye, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next story time, if I do it, I probably will do another story time, because I probably, I probably got a few stories, up my sleeve, I'm just not thinking of, uh, um, right off the bat, but, uh, yeah, bye.